Hey, what's up, my Scruffians? This is Unkempt Minecraft, and this is the start of what I hope is going to be a new and quite exciting series that I am calling Kingdom Quest. The name needs work. Okay, but basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be combining the, the elements of a Let's Play and also of a Let's Build. Because what I'm going to do is on my private server that I've got here, I'm going to start a whole new world, and it's going to have elements of survival, and it's going to have elements of creative builds. So basically what I'm trying to do here is create my entire kingdom from scratch. Um, and because I've got it on a server rather than on a server in inner world, I can invite some of my friends to come in and help out whenever I feel like it. Guys from Realm, guys from elsewhere. But yeah, we're going to have some nice cool guest stars, going to make loads of epic builds. Uh, but you know, we're going to have the survival element here and there as well. I'm going to have to go find diamonds, everything we use. We're going to have to source. We're not just going to pull it out of thin air. And yeah, so this is what we're doing. Now, I haven't opened this world yet. I haven't seen the terrain. So this is going to be as new to you as it is to me. I'm really excited about this series. I've been looking to do collaborative videos for a while. And uh, things at Realm are just a little bit more awkward than they are to do it on a separate server like this. Obviously, Realm is well established. There's not a lot of elements of starting a new survival type thing on there. Um, but doing it this way means I get to do everything. I get to do the the fun build. I get to plan out cities and towns. But I also get to do all this sort of stuff. Just digging out, looking for apples or saplings. Go cave in, find our first diamonds. And then set exploring. Um, I'm not sure what order I'm going to do things in yet. I guess we can kind of just go with the flow. Leave comments if you uh, have any opinions. I actually only wanted the one second, but I've got two now because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. That's where I'm going to start my mine. But for now, I need to go and find a high vantage point so I can... Oh! I had a dog. Oh, I haven't got any bones. Hey, achievements right off the bat. This would be a good tactic if I was in UHC. Achievement hiding and all that sort of stuff. Right, so let's start with the simple stuff. Eight sticks. That's supposed to be a pickaxe, thank you. And then a sword. Okay, right, first things first, let's go find some food. You can hear a sound, oh, that's a wolf. Let's just steer clear of him because I don't have any bones or any meat. Um, yeah, so if, you hear, so if you hear any noises in the background, uh, my cats are wandering around being douches. So, oh, hello. Hello, cave. Come back to you later. First, I need to find some uh, little beasts. And slay them out. Oh, hang on. That's an ocean. Right, this is excellent. I wanted an ocean. Because it means I've got a coastline to follow. And having a coastline to follow makes keeping track of where I am a lot easier. And that's what you need when you're planning a new kingdom from the start. Yeah, this is going to work just right. I am not enjoying that there are wolves around. It's be just my luck to accidentally hit one. But... You know, if we get some bones, it's good to know they spawn around here. I guess we could call this Wolf Bay. This is the other thing as well. We get to name every place we find. I mean, we at some point we're going to have to go around and map stuff out and, you know, keep track of our whole kingdom. Um, I'm tr I don't know if I'm going to work to a radius, but I mean, if I'm developing a country... Oh, I heard a, I heard a skelly. Are you in here, skeleton? I'm going to break diorite with a pickaxe. No, you're not in there. Right, where are you, skeleton? I want you. Uh, just for the record, we are playing on normal difficulty. And a little feature that I'm going to let you know that I'm planning to do right off, right off the bat is that if I'm doing a colossal build, whether it's just me or me and somebody else, um, I will be doing that in peaceful mode. Because there's nothing worse than getting halfway through building something 
and you get attacked by a swarm of zombies. Um, some of that might be time lapse. We might talk you through what we're doing. The world is our lobster. Let's be honest. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know about you guys, but I think this will be a lot of fun. It's going to be good to get guys like uh, CS plays and uh, you know maybe even guys like All Star and Nabsky, Dreanth, guys from Realm who I've not really sort of been able to introduce you to properly yet because. It, I've not been able to record videos the way I'd like on there. Of like, I mean, you all saw the Nether Gazebo build I did. I've done plenty of other builds since then, but I've been working a lot on my style and stuff like that, working off tutorials. And it wasn't really conducive to sort of recording, like, recordable content. Like, it would have been quite dull to see me just sort of flitting back and forth between the tutorial. I hear mobs. There's a spider. Oh, that's a creeper. No, thank you. Um, I've been sprinting too much and now I've got to find food. The distinct lack of animals in this forest. That's frustrating. Uh, so, right, this is what you expect at the start. Got to find some cows. Or some sheep. Or some pigs. Or some chickens. Or anything, really. Is this an island? Oh, nearly fell off to my death there. I'm wondering if this is an island. This ocean certainly seems to sweep a long way around. Is that spider still tracking me? Well, we've got plenty of sugar cane, so that's good. I think we're back. This is the big hill we started on. Where the wolves are spawning and stuff. Pigs! Pigs, pigs, pigs! Save me, piggies. Save me from starvation. Help me, piggies. Please do not let me die. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, there's like a whole family of pigs up here. What hit? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Die. I'm going to have to eat them raw, I'm going to have to eat them raw. Oh, wow. Okay. Right, let's kill the rest of these pigs. But that scenery was pretty intense. No, don't run, don't run. Come back here, thank you. Right, I've got three pork chops. That'll do for the early going here. Let's get down off this hill. Oh, there's another pig around. Did I miss one? Yeah, I did. Hey, piggy. What are you doing? Where are you going, eh? Pork chops for days. Okay. Right. Time to mine out some cobble. Get a furnace going. It's not some food. Ooh, sandstone. Six, seven, eight. Right, I have to make another workbench. I can't bother to go around and get that other one. And then what we can do is we can go furnace, bonk, and then just use planks to do that. Okay. Right, we're just going to take it nice and easy. Right, so we've got a beach over there, but oh shit, it's getting night already. Um, I guess we can sort of burrow into this mountain for now. Um, obviously this isn't the best place to start um, mining or anything like that simply because it's so high up and I can't remember where I put my furnace. This is, a f oh it's got to be, it's got to be there right? Maybe not. There it is, it's there. Okay. My cat behind me making me jump. Okay, right. Five pork chops there. Let's get these in our stomach. 
fact, you know what? We may as well tunnel down from here. All right, full food. We'll just close that in. And away we go. So yeah, this is all your standard survival stuff. Unfortunately, it's uh, necessary at the start of any series where survival rules are in place. I know it's quite dull to watch a guy try and mine out coal, especially when he's got no torches. I'll try and clear the gamma up a bit in uh, post, but can't make any guarantees. I'm afraid I'm using some primitive software. But yeah, we're gonna do all your standard survival stuff. You know, we're gonna get ourselves geared out. We're gonna go off exploring. When we find good places to to raise towns and cities, then we'll do it. I mean, I might even say three by th three thousand by three thousand blocks. Explore the whole thing, and you know, dot some uh, settlements around there. Leave some signs, just saying what's what. We can keep track of coordinates, and yeah, we can raise a kingdom. Our, that is our quest. Hence the uh, working title, Kingdom Quest. So for now, could you do with some coal? But I have got three pork chops still, so this will keep me occupied for the night. Come on, coal. And there goes my pickaxe. But what I can do now is run up here. And I can make myself a stone pickaxe and a stone sword. Right, so workbench, stone sword, and a stone pickaxe. Okay. Right, there we go. Just making sure I haven't missed any ores around me. That's much better. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Coal for days. Be a nice big vein of coal here. We are on our way, people. I probably could have started with bonus chest on, but yeah, what's the point? What I can do now is I can make eight torches. And let's instantly get one in there. I can see. And I can stop any mobs spawning up here. Um, in case you're wondering, I am just playing, it's all vanilla, the only mod I'm using is, mo is Optifine, which isn't really a mod. Um, and I'm using the texture pack called uh, Faithful, which is basically just a clean up version of default. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find Faithful in most of the places you would go to find skins. Most of you probably already use it. I like it because I've got no problem with the way default looks and also it's not too taxing on my computer because I do play on a laptop still unfortunately and uh, yeah it stands me in good stead. Um, I'm going to have some other things coming up as well. Um, I've managed to salvage some UHC footage from uh, this past weekend, uh, that's the weekend of the uh, 14th and 15th of November. Um, played UHC with a bunch of guys from Realm. Um, initially I thought the audio had been lost, but it turned out that it was just a glitch with my playback, with my playback software. So I'm gonna look through that and maybe edit together into a highlights package, or you know, possibly put the whole thing up as a whole uh, over a few episodes the thing that I've found from all my previous UFC experiences UFC? yeah UFC experience got my shit kicked in by Ronda Rousey now what I found in my previous UHC experiences is that my PvP is absolutely dreadful so oh hello oh, I thought I found a cave there no, let's get a torch up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of start doing some PvP games on Mineplex and possibly Minecraft Central. 
focus on things like Hunger Games and uh, Sky Wars. Maybe some one in the quiver just to try and get my Bowman chip up a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm calling that series Evolution of a Warrior. Um, hoping to have some fancy new graphics for those, but that won't happen right away. Um, if you've got any ideas of games or maps that I could play to improve my PvP skills, then do let me know in the comments of any of my videos. Um, and yeah, where are we at? 33. Should we go right down to 11? Let's go right down to 11. I'm almost out of torches, but I'm fine for food, so... Let's make four more torches. I don't really want to go back up to the surface just yet. And if it seems like I'm putting down excessive torches, that is simply so that I can keep things bright for you guys. So you can see what I'm doing. Damn it. It's going way back up now. Okay. A slow start, unfortunately. Be nice if we could find some iron. Um, need to check and see what the time is. I'm pretty sure we are still in night, but it does not hurt to fall it. Need to get some more wood. So if it was day, that would be great. It is not. And I haven't got any sticks to make any more tools. I'm gonna have to go chop some stuff down in the dark. Stuff like this is the stuff I hate. Hey, I've got the getting wood achievement. Let's take this whole tree down. I saw that zombie over there, by the way. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, I see you down there. See you, creeper. Nothing around here, though, that I can tell. You know, we're going to go find some biomes. Link them together through the never travel or possibly just digging some roads. We're going to do it all, man. This is something that I feel like I'd be able to step back from if it was getting a little stale and come back to later on. I could do, I can do loads of work off camera and improve things for you guys. Uh, two picks, I think. uh yeah okay and yeah it's just it's just going to be fun um it's going to be like an ongoing thing there's no real end in sight maybe once the kingdom is built um i'll put a map download up and you guys can sort of show me what you're doing uh or you know maybe we'll just keep it indefinitely we'll just keep going and going until our kingdom is mighty But we do have to start with the humble beginnings. I think the key thing I've got to do at this point is not throw anything out. Like junk blocks that I might not usually want to keep. Things like diorite, andesite, granite. They're going to be good decorative blocks. So you need to keep them. So what I'll probably do is at some point I'll decide if I'm going to stick to... I can hear lava. I heard lava. Don't know where it was. I'll just keep tunneling down for now. This is, so we're 18. This will be 17. Let's get another torch up. Okay. So yeah, um, we'll decide on a central area that we can keep all our chests in. You know, once we've got some, uh, once we've got some obsidian, we'll rig up some ender chests once we've been into the nether and stuff. So I'm always going to have to play a full uh, SBS before I get to the point where it's time to start developing the kingdom. And that's only right, because that's how it would have been for people heading for the new world. Let's put this in. You know, they didn't get to the new world and everything was already there built for them. They didn't have infinite blocks or infinite resources. They had to work for it. So let's break this out into a sort of strip. I came all this way and didn't find any iron. What's that all about? So 
can make this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the goal here is to hold as much of this out as possible, use it as the basis of a strip mine. Let's jag my arm on something. So yeah, unfortunately this is the uh, monotonous section. I'm going to try not to skip over too much stuff if I can help it, but if this does get to be a bit tedious then I might fast forward it. I heard a bat and I heard a mob though. Mob's not coming from up there, so it's got to be close by. Let's maximise the height by putting it on a redstone ore box. Really need to mine. It's all very well finding diamonds, but if you can't mine them out, they're useless. Okay, so this is the start of our strip mine. So we'll go straight ahead and we'll mine two, three. Okay, maybe we won't. What we can do is save having to go upstairs again. Just do that. And then we can do that. And then we can go dum and dum. First we need to do that, and then we can do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, some more coal here. Nine. Okay, let's put a torch at the end of that. And a torch right in there over two blocks and we'll start again to attempt to find some ores of some description I've already found redstone ore but I can't mine it out which is a blow nine there's some more redstone ore what we can do quickly is just connect those I know there's coal here but We've got like 39 coal, so if I go to that way and mine out that bottom box, this makes things a little bit quicker at this end. And then we'll mine out this lot. Looks like it could be slim pickings for our first episode, guys. But, you know, we'll do our best. There's that redstone ore. If I dig out this block here, it should go all the way through. Okay. So, not the best start, but I'll tell you what, um, we can go to this side now, there's no point fast forwarding at this point because we are actively searching for something, the second I start fast forwarding I'll probably find a diamond or something, how many is that, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Is that that same coal vein? I think it is. Iron! Yes, 
Back in, please. Is it just going to be one piece? No, we've got a vein. Okay. Three, four, five. Just five. Okay. Eh. Could have been worse, guys. I have a torch. Oh, there's some more there. I didn't even see it. Oh, yeah. Three, four. There's going to be another five. Oh, no, six. Any more behind here? Nope, but we're now up to 11 iron. Forging the first embers of our kingdom. Ah! For tempers. Have I done goofed here? I have. I have made it all irregular. So at some point what I'll do is I'll just connect it all up, dig out the blocks in between. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a couple to put down. Nine. Dig out that and that. And there we go. Again, could have probably done with some more iron, but what are you going to do? Let's just go off in this direction now. While the iron's smelting, may as well use up the last of this pickaxe. Oh, there's more iron here. Okay, now I can definitely hear mobs. And it feels like I'm getting closer to them. This is a nice fit, thick iron vein. Oh yeah, okay, right. Damn it. Okay. In we get. Let's stick the rest of this iron in. So that takes us to 20 iron. We'll start, I think, with a pickaxe. And a sword, maybe? Nope, that's not how you make a sword, Dan. Dirt. And, you know what? We'll leave this episode here for now. But we have begun the Kingdom Quest. We have found iron. We have a promising strip mine with mob sounds in the distance. We have an iron pick, an iron sword. We have not very much food. Maybe that'll be something I'll do next. But until next time, guys, this is Unkempt Minecraft, signing off.